Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Parker Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can create some super realistic exterior render and we will review exterior setting in Enscape for SketchUp. So after this video, you can download the uh, this training file below this video and the uh, Enscape setting below this video too. So. Before we start this job, this is the environment that we have full of the vegetation elements about architecture and the simple villa and house in here. So first of all, I will add some type of car for myself, but I don't know how. So very simple for the beginners, you can open the asset library in Enscape and change your category to the vehicles. So I will click on the category right now. It's not loaded for me. It takes a little bit time. So, yes, I will click on the category, click on the vehicles, and I will change the uh, tag to the uh, adjustables or electric cars, but I don't need all of them. So I will come to the downside and click on this beautiful Mercedes Benz in here and apply changes. So I will click on the selection tool, rotate it, something like that or something like this, I see much better, and move it to these part of my house and apply changes. As you can see, the final view of this job is really incredible and you can see the setting and details on your job. So you can click on it, selection, and change the color of it. For example, to the red or some type of color like the uh, gold, for example. All of them is completely depends on you and your taste and what you want from your render. I prefer to use some type of gray tonnage of the colors and click on the apply changes. And now I want to add some another type of object like the uh, people. So I will click on the people in here and select one of these peoples. It doesn't matter which one. For example, for example, I think this one can be good this one so i will click on the apply changes in here it takes a little bit of time and after that you can see we have this character in here everything is good for me look at these shadows the final result is really incredible and close your asset library in here so everything is done for us now i can add some type of flowers to this part of my house so i can click on the asset library again click on the multi-asset placement, click on the paint bucket selection, select this area, change it to the uh, vegetation, sorry, vegetation, change your tags to the uh, flower, and you have many type of flowers in here. For example, I want to select this one, and it takes sometimes a little bit time, maybe it not detects your area. You can select some other type of flowers in here or maybe it not. So I will close it because in the small areas it doesn't work. But the total point is that you can add it like this. So I will click on the F on my keyboard, camera number one. And this is my pre-ready shots before this tutorial. I will turn on the save frame, click on the two-point perspective, and click on the visual setting, and decrease the field of view as I can, some number like this. So I will change it to the 46 in here, and close it. I will hold shift and right click and change the time of the day, very simple and easy, to the 7 for example. Hold Ctrl U and I on my keyboard and change the time of the day and sun angle like that. And now I want to click on the visual setting and increase the rendering quality to the high mode. As you can see, it takes a little bit of time and after that you can see this result in your job. The final result is really great. So I will play with the uh, sun power in here. Control U, Control I. So something like that is good. I will click on the visual setting and start my rendering with the visual setting in here. So I need a little bit outline for my edges. I will type 7% for my job. 
and in the exposure I will turn off the auto exposure and re-expose my screen manually something about 16% can be good and I will turn on the depth of field close the autofocus and play with the focal point to reach to the best result this part of my job is really important I want to see these edges and I want to type 22.28 meter and the depth of field is some number about for example 6 to 11 I prefer to use 11 percent or maybe 6 percent it completely depends on you if you want some blur screen you can increase your depth of field and if you want some professional focusing you can hold it on some number near to the 10 for example in the image bar I will use auto contrast and in the saturation I want to desaturate my job so I can decrease the saturation it's really useful for your portfolio and architectural designs or you can increase it a little bit some number about 103 percent color temperature helps you to create some warm or cold render for now I think some warm render can be better 6000 Colvina can be good, motion blur is zero, lens flare is not important, blue is zero because I need some sharp render, and the final lens flare is about 34%. You can decrease the awakening to the 12 and chromatic aberration is zero. In the uh, atmosphere, I will turn off the fog option because I need some clear render. Some brightness related to the sun power, when I increase it, you can see your render will be burned, but sometimes it can be good. But right now, I think 111% can be good, and night sky is zero. About the shadow sharpness, look at these shadows in your environment. When I increase the shadow to the 100, you can see some type of super sharp shadows, and it's not realistic totally, because we don't have these type of shadows in the real world. So try to keep it on some number like 46, some type of soft shadow. Artificial light brightness related to the uh, spotlights, but right now we don't have any spotlights, so you can reduce it. If you want to increase the interior brightness automatically with the exterior sunlight, you can increase the ambient brightness to the uh, 59%. The wind is completely zero in here, and the skybox is really important. The clouds is zero, variety is zero. Cyrus amount is zero and count trail is zero. So now this is your final result of your job. In the output, you can change your resolution to the full HD or you can change it to the custom mode. So I prefer to use custom mode and add some type of adjustable resolution like 1200, something like that. And if you want some more quality, you can create PNG renders, not JPG renders. PNG have a better quality than JPG. So in the main bar, I will turn back, close it, move it to this place, click on the SketchUp. And now I want to move this tree a little bit near to my camera shot, something like that. A little bit to the uh, downside, a little bit about... 40 centimeter and this is the final result that we have in here something like that is really perfect so i will click on these three in this part of my job and move it a little bit to the right side something like that click on the scale bar rescale my job as i can from this point to this point and you can see the details are show themselves so always try to create these type of renders because they can talk they can show your abilities I deleted the background tree because it's not really good and the final result is something like that so I will click on the uh, Enescape maximizing in here click on the asset library select these three and rotate it a little bit but my camera don't push it so you can close it and do this job in the SketchUp at the same way so I will click on it take another copy like that 
click on the scale option like this click on the move option and move it to this part of your render not in front of your camera or house but someplace near to these walls like that and the details can be shown in your job you can click on the Enscape again click on the F click on the edit camera number one and I think when I click on it I can change the time of the day very simple and easy something like that Control U and I some render like this I will increase the pitch to the 23 in here and reduce the eye height about 0 0.8 or maybe 0 0.5 and I think everything is good I can change the azimuth to the 123 and altitude when I change the altitude I can see the changes about my sun tracing and shadows I prefer to use something about 15 degree and click on the save option camera number one recreated for me and now I can click on the Enscape asset library in here select this car and change the color of it to the white if I change it to the white now it can be show itself much better because it's under the shadows and all of them depends on your experience of rendering so everything is good for me I can click on the uh, visual setting again I can turn on the auto exposure re-expose my screen manually about 56 percent and reduce the field of view much more some number about maybe 40 degree is really good time for your rendering a screenshot desktop and save it called render one and press save as you can see we created this super realistic exterior render in Enscape only in a few minutes thanks for watching thanks for your support if you like this content and video please like and subscribe our youtube channel and this is the uh final render in here i hope you enjoyed this video guys and goodbye